Sun and Times episode 458 from this undisclosed place closed in response to COVID-19. Lots of places are. This one especially. Undisclosed place closed in response to COVID-19. Can't go in there. It's closed. And look at this. I broke out my Sonics Santa Claus hat. The Sonics. They still sell merchandise even though they're long gone. And my new mask. Look at that. New heart. Original, not cast of New Heart because it's the later version. You don't see Kirk Devane who owned the Minuteman Cafe in the first couple seasons. You don't see the original maid, Leslie. You have Julia Duffy's character, Stephanie, and the Peter Scolari's character, Michael, on there. Of course, Mary Fran is Joanna. Bob Newhart is Dick Loudon. What a great show that was. They're all in captured on my new mask. Look at this. Look at that, one of the greatest new heart masks you'll ever see. For the people who love the snaps, there's Chicken Bob. Chicken Bob can't go in here, it's closed in response to COVID-19. Clearly a circle with a line through it, Chicken Bob. And, Moonshiner shirt. Tonic is right here right now. You can order some of these, get them in time for the 8th night, if you email JB Moonshine. That's J.B. Moonshine. Pamphlet of the Sign Times. Every show needs a pamphlet. Autographed picture of Seymour Schnott, one of the proudest members of Gowns you'll ever see. Maybe he'll buy a J.B. Moonshine t-shirt. That'd be nice. Seymour Schnott wearing the J.B. Moonshine shirt. Maybe J.B. Moonshine to pick up a Seymour Schnott shirt. Be a great, great economic trade. CAC program. CAC also had that going on. They didn't meet in 2020. The Twitter, where you can follow me, but not literally, much like Ian Bear does, much like Dylan Bostic does. They both do. I don't think Dylan Bostic's ever fought Ian Bear, but what a great match. That'd be Facebook, Instagram, the YouTube, which you may be watching right now. Right about now, probably watching on the YouTube. Book I got for Petrov, if I ever see him, I'll give him that book. I think I'll see him again, but you never know. And here's what it looks like inside the law office of Stephen P. New. Get even with Stephen, if you will. Autograph picture of Kevin Sullivan. There's Paul Freakshine and John Lennon. We haven't confirmed what Paul Freakshine's favorite John Lennon song is. I still think it's a woman. There's Paul and his freak show. Paul and wonderful Zach Winters. Paul on his niece, Casey Carlisle. If you go to CaseyCarlisle.com and get pictures like that. You could get them for Hanukkah gifts, Christmas gifts, Kwanzaa gifts, and get some of those, some of those, some of those available. That's up for grabs. Some of those. Two T's favorite, the pillow picture. A wall of belts. A single large title belt. Sultry with the title belt. There she is if you're old enough. There she is a bit pouty. Other members of Team Bad Knees. Look at that. Not a single good knee in that bunch. And turn book on my boot to start reading Baseball Cop, The Dark Side of America's National Pastime by Eddie Dominguez. It's going to make a great Christmas gift if you were to give that to someone for Christmas. I bet someone gets this for Christmas this year, and they'll love it. Absolutely love it. There's the bookmark I'm going to be using. Look at that. That's a colorful bookmark. You know, a baseball cop by Eddie Dominguez. What a great gift that will make. Well, this week it's a busy week. Sunday, of course, Santa Lucia Day. There'll be less guitars and coffee happening. Less guitars and coffee for Santa Lucia Day. Then on Turnbuckle Turmoil... We have Charlie Cruel. I've been looking forward to Charlie Cruel for months. We finally have her on the show. Randy Zellers, one of the fellers, will be there. He'll ask her questions. QT will probably ask three questions about the song Cruel Summer by Banana Rama. That poor, poor kid. Then, Monday, maybe I'll watch Eight Crazy Nights. It's Hanukkah. you got to watch Eight Crazy Nights. One of the best Hanukkah films ever made by Adam Sandler. Tuesday, pretty much open. Wednesday it's looking free. Thursday, maybe I'll have a coffee. 
Actually, I take that back on Wednesday because I got to take a sports entertainer to the airport. Given an airport ride to a sports entertainer, then Thursday it's free. Friday on the show, we have Billy Starks. Also looking forward to Billy Starks being on the show. Her first time with this QT will probably ask 18 questions about the song Billy Jean or whatever Lance thumbs up man of a thousand and four excuses Dean has to talk him into asking. That Lance Dean's a crazy, crazy individual and he talks QT and asking some off the wall things. But that's Lance Dean for you. JB Moonshine's brother has been hit in the head a few too many times, I think. And he's got a thumb fixation. But the review from this undisclosed place that's closed in response to COVID-19. New, new heart mask. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if you're looking for a great episode, if you can only watch one episode of New Heart, I recommend you go on the YouTubes and you watch Dick the Kid from the season five. Great episode. Dick Loudon wanted to become a cowboy. He went to become a cowboy. And at the same time, Stephanie paid Larry, Daryl, and Daryl a dollar to do all of her work for her, but had to keep that hidden from Joanna, who eventually found out and then paid Larry, Daryl, and Daryl a dollar to not do Stephanie's work for her anymore. Great episode. Sunday, Santa Lucia Day. Lots of guitars and coffee. And then on Turnbuckle, we have Charlie Cruel. On Monday... Eight crazy nights, probably. Tuesday, looking open. Wednesday, I got a beeline down to the airport and take Josh Blaze to the airport for a flight. I used to manage Josh Blaze. Now I'll manage to get him to the airport on time. Full circle. Thursday, it's pretty free. Friday, Billy Starks. Excited to have Billy Starks on the show. She'll be on. QT will probably ask about Billy Jean by Michael Jackson. Thumbs up, Lance Dean will say, Hey, QT, can you ask her eight questions about where she gets her oil changed? It'll be great. And then he'll shoot him a thumbs up, and QT will say, Oh, okay. And he'll start asking him, Thumbs up, Lance Dean will go, ah, I'm at my job. Ah, I'm playing video games. Ah, I'm Devin Bellinger. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't ask those questions. And then he'll say, Tee hee hee, tee hee hee. Because he does things like that. He's an odd man. Odd man. Pretty much from this undisclosed closed location, episode 458.